Good morning everybody! Uh, I hope you're all well and, and enjoying all our videos that we've been uploading on our new YouTube, YouTube channel. Um, we've got another activity ready for you today, which is uh, making a chocolate chip cookies. Um, so something delicious, but very, very simple. So I have already weighed all my ingredients. Um, so at the front of the ingredients, I wrote the amount of um, uh, each ingredient that we're going to need. So if uh, you'd like at home, you can do this as well with your parents and maybe get the scale and, and follow the numbers on that piece of paper so you'll know how much uh, grams or uh, teaspoons you're going to need for the cookies. Um, but I already measured this so it's a little bit easier for us. And uh, make sure you wash your hands before doing any cooking and everything is clean around you. I have also put some gloves on just to be safe. And um, so first what we're going to do, we're going to add the batter and it says it's 225 grams of batter into a big bowl. So we just add it into it. Um, I have uh, melted it a little bit, so it will be easier um, to uh, stir it. So all the batter goes in, and then we just have to um, stir it a little bit to make sure that it's nice and creamy. So I'm using a big uh, bowl and a wooden spoon. Um, so this is what you're going to do. Now all the mixing can be done um, by any children, even younger children. We often do cookies and uh, baking with our babies as well and they're loving it. Uh, so don't be afraid, let them do it as well. So as we are mixing the batter, it's getting um, a bit smoother and creamy. Now after this, you are going to measure the sugar which we're going to add to the batter. Now and on the label, it says we're going to need 110 grams of sugar. So we're going to put it in our bowl with the batter and we are going to stir it until it's nice and light and fluffy. A little bit faster if you want and it becomes really nice texture you just want it to be a little bit fluffy and because I melted the butter it's a little bit easier there we are I think this might be all good now the next part that we're going to is the flour and on our label it says we're gonna need 275 grams of flour which we're going to slowly put inside the bowl there we are um, and we're going to need one teaspoon of ground cinnamon get a little sniff it smells beautiful you can talk about what does it smell like maybe it reminds you of something so we one teaspoon of the beautiful cinnamon but if you don't have it at home you don't have to put it in um, it's optional so don't worry too much and we're going to slowly mix it up together making sure that it's all coming together the butter and the sugar and flour and a bit of cinnamon and then we will also add the chocolate chip Chip, um, chips. So yeah, I have used a normal chocolate bar and we just crushed it um, with a knife so somebody can help you with that. But you need about 75 grams of um, chocolate chips. But you can also buy them if you'd like, make it easier. So you put that in and then at this point I'm going to use my hands to bring the dough together into a nice, um, nice ball. Let's see what will happen. I will show you in a moment what it's going to look like. But this is a really nice um, experience because you can feel the texture. It's all coming together and it's a little bit sticky and then you can feel the chips inside. And so it's a really fun texture. So it's coming together really, really nicely. So I'm going to show you in a moment. Look, mm, this is looking good. And I can 
smell the cinnamon and the chocolate chips will make it very, very delicious. So what you do now, you get yourself a baking tray and a baking sheet on the top so it doesn't stick. And we are going to um, get a little bit of the dough and um, you can make a smaller bowl, a little bit bigger, whatever you prefer and you roll it between your hands so you create a little bowl like this and again let anybody do this even younger children it's a really nice sensory experience and then you put it on your tray and you can press it a little bit to create a bit of a round shape like a cookie um, and you can continue like this um, until you use up all your dough and um, you can also if you want to be a little bit more adventurous um, you can also get uh, maybe some uh, fork and make some patterns on the top of the cookies um, if you'd like otherwise you can just use your hand hi everybody so we're back I just went to the oven got the cookies out so around 10 12 minutes and look mm -mm, they look delicious and Mmm, that's still warm and soft and bit crunchy and the chocolate is there, mmm, it's really nice. So I hope you're going to try at home and you're going to have fun and enjoy them with everybody. And if you have any pictures of how you make the cookies or videos, please upload them on the Parent app on the first steps. Thank you, bye!